Welcome to another episode. Um, today's a bit of a special one actually. It's a very simple one, um, but one I've been meaning to do for as long as I can remember and just never got round to it. And that is to actually embrace what the 21st of June means, the midsummer day. The longest day of the year, shortest night. I mean, that's always good, right? <laughs> if you like the summer like I do. I always sort of think of um, the 21st of June as rebirth, restarting, new beginnings um, and I think a really good way to do that is to connect with nature. So Toby and I we're heading out to the forest and we're just gonna walk, we're, we're going to make offerings to the fairies. I know that sounds a bit wacky for some of you, um, and even a little bit for me too, but if there's some truth in it, I don't wanna miss it. <laughs> so we're gonna have a go. Um, you know, I want to walk barefoot on the grass and really connect with Mother Earth and with nature. Nature brings us so much, um, so much peace, health, so let's get walking. This is just so beautiful. I believe if we carry on further up here, there's an opening. Let's go, Toad. Tobes have found a little stream across the thing. Might have to dip our toes. What do you think? Oh, you can't see because I'm in shadow. Hey. After a little bit of research on the phone, I think that there's another one further up um, where I'm going to be able to actually tie Toby up because if I let him go and we find a deer he's a goner so um, I'm gonna walk on a little bit more let's see
Oh, it's refreshing, but it is cold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's really cold. <laughs> if you can, on the summer solstice, you should really bathe in, well, you, sh you shouldn't, you could obviously bathe in water. Um, I think this is going to be the closest I'm going to get, um, dipping my feet. But either way, it's symbolic. And the intention is set, and that's the most important thing. I won't be doing it a second time because it's cold. I think I've said that. Toby, is it cold? Is it cold? Well, it, that cold, I thought I may as well call my bottles of water down. What do you reckon, Tobes? Hey, okay. a few ticks on you. Yeah, I know. I'll have to get those off in a minute, mate. I mentioned earlier um, about little offerings I've brought my crystal with me but I've also brought um, some little offerings oh, hang on a minute um, which are basically just uh, sticks of lavender I dry lavender out and make bath salts with it and um, these are the sticks that are left and, and I just tie them with a by the string or taffeta and these are my little offerings and I think when this is such a beautiful place this will be a good place to put my offering I'm gonna pop it in there and I'm gonna put another one over here because this is such a beautiful place. Thank you, Mother Earth. It's a good boy. It's a good boy. I'll be back in a minute. Because on this side, I've just found this. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to walk up there because I've put my shoes back on now. And it's a little bit muddy. This is so pretty. So I might just have to leave one here. Yeah. Let's leave it here at the bottom. It's there. I'm back, boy. You've been guarding our things. He's a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to film you going across those.
one thing to that you can write down in your journal are your affirmations um, or even on a piece of paper you don't have to have some fancy journal it can just be a bit of paper um, but set some goals some intentions um, what would you like to achieve in the next six months remember this is or in the next three months even you know this is all about new beginnings starting over what would you start over with comment below also another thing which is quite helpful in manifesting our dreams and our hopes is to write down what we're grateful for and I always try to make a list of at least three things that I'm grateful for maybe comment below let's share some of that but my hay fever and my cold are getting the better of me so I'm gonna head back home now and um, to celebrate the sun setting this evening we're going to have a, a picnic I was gonna say a barbecue we're not we're putting the fire on we're making a bonfire um, but we're actually having a picnic um, and if you want I'll bring you along about to light the fire food is on its way down and the sun is starting to set we have actually set another camera upstairs because it's a bit better view but I don't really want a picnic in my bedroom <laughs> are you ready to watch the sunset there Toby? Hmm? so the fire is lit traditionally a bonfire um, it is what you would have on summer solstice but well this is our attempt to be honest and this is all yeah, we're going to have no and it's Fraser's. well yeah no Fraser's done a very good job but that it's not a bonfire but it's certainly good enough now tradition the pagans would have you dance over the fire but we we don't feel that that's going to be very safe this evening so uh, yeah we're just gonna have a bonfire food wine or beer Bring your beer. Cheers. 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 Thanks for lighting the fire. Uh, I've got to say, your fire's doing an absolute treat there. Will that plastic box be okay by there? Now, yeah, when it melts, we'll move it. <laughs> Meanwhile. Ooh. This is really nice potato. Colours of summer. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.